you're about to see that anyone who can drool and lift their head out of the gutter can get a license. Clueless Clumsy Clyde is one of them. He pulls out, hesitates, and waits until I get closer to pull into my path too closely. Just like anal rash ointment, a little common sense goes a long ways. Parking lots always seem to bring out brain-dead bumbling bozos, and you're about to see several of them in the span of just a minute. We start out in a quiet and empty portion of a parking lot where there's no need to drive at such a slow crawl. But this lady was a turtle in her past life, and apparently a turtle in this life too. She then almost stops at the stop sign, but way past the limit line. Then she acts confused. But we're not done. We stopped way before this lady, and she ran her stop sign and almost took our right of way. and this bozo going the wrong way. While this was all going on, this other dum-dum goes out of turn and takes this white car's right of way and gets honked at. Crackhead Kathy's relatives really do get around like a fart down an open skirt on a windy day. Son, I, I don't, I, I was gonna snap one day and be like, you gotta Oh, that was a good one. Like, Did you get it? Yeah, on the rear camera. I love it. Same much problem we knew that. Problem is, you also drive different. Oh, that works. That's what... The entitlement is real with this one. In a fairly empty parking lot, this mentally bankrupt blood clot made up their own parking spot in the driving aisle. That was about as pathetic as Mike Tyson's dog. Four legs, but no ears. Who does that? Life gave this guy lemons, and unfortunately, his brain is a lemon. So much for lemon laws. Instead of just going around the block like a normal person, he decides to illegally reverse around the corner and then cut off the guy in front of us. Oh, Jesus. What an idiot. This driver is like a penny, two-faced and not worth much. If you can't clear the intersection by the time oncoming traffic reaches you, don't go. Drivers are having to go around him in the next lane. He has a brain the size of Danny DeVito.
but the life short. Let's <laughs> <Still bought it. laughs> Hello, welcome. My name is Lauren. I'm from. Well, that chased the high of like super hot peppers, and uh, I remember eating the bomb hot sauce. Oh my god! I mean, that was just not a good thing. <laughs> Very similar to the clip you saw earlier, we have another driver with a brain the size of Danny DeVito who never learned not to start a turn until he can clear the intersection in one quick movement. That driving was as tasty as a deep fried turd. That was weird. <laughs> I don't think. And how is that legal? That is not legal. Wait, you know, they're, they're filming. They're filming, okay. Are you really going past him in the middle? What, and the what are fuck? you two? He's taking pictures of the bike. I know what he's doing. I see these guys on Instagram. They take pictures of the bike. You gotta love drivers that get everything wrong. Jerry, Atrick, really sucks at starting a lane change. Because he hesitated so long, he's about to miss his turn, and he really should go ahead and miss it, and not try to dive across. But he does. Here he is hesitating again, and wanting a different shade of green. And now his lane discipline is about as garbage as a soiled tampon. What is Oh, yeah. my God. Shall we top this cake with a stop sign run? Well, his driving is about as valuable as the gum on the bottom of my shoe. The camera is looking for a suitable gap in traffic to his left to change lanes into. But this hall monitor suddenly decides to police this lane and block the camera from continuing down this lane. The hall monitor doesn't seem to realize he just created the gap the camera needed. That was the laziest pullout ever. in this world um, because there's not enough of us out there and um, wow where okay. is this Martha Rottencrotch is extremely impatient and apparently doesn't realize that this is a cop she also doesn't realize that there's not enough space for her to squeeze by the cop on the left. You see, there's a left turn lane up ahead that she wants and thinks she can bypass the line of backed up traffic to get to it. Yeah, what the heck was that? Her plan went about as well as Jennifer Gray's decision to get a nose job as she totally sideswipes this police vehicle. I'd love to have been a fly on the wall for the conversation the policeman had with her. Alright guys, there's a lot more exciting content to come, so be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, drop a comment below, give us a thumbs up and share. Also, check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching.